So I just bought my first graphics card and it's this. It's a GT710. I'm not trying to play games on this card. I am trying to pass it through to a macOS VM and Kepler is an architecture still supported by macOS and yes I should have bought an AMD card but I'm so unfamiliar with AMD cards that this was something that I was certain I was going to work with macOS and, and it was affordable. You know after all we are living in a GPU crisis. The problem is that this is one of the most suspicious looking GT710s I've ever looked and you know you got to be very worried because you know you all those oh you got all those wish com fake GPUs right but this is really suspicious because first and foremost I have never seen an image of a full height GT710 most GT710s I see on the internet are half height another thing is that this doesn't have an HDMI port this is VGA and DVI only I don't understand Chinese characters but this is definitely a made in China from Chinese markets and you know the GTX 1065 gig that was a China exclusive maybe this is a China exclusive but if anybody is going out of the way to make a custom board for GT710 I, I don't know why you would want to make a custom board for GT710 made in China GT710 PCIe 1 gig DDR3 W with VGA DVI-D I believe I checked my sources correct there is a 1 gigabyte DDR3 variant of the GT710 among 2 gig variant as well as GDDR5 variants so and it also should be noted that this card is not the most cleanest card in the world this PCI backplate for example is pretty dirty and it really says CRT there DVI this 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 cover over the subcapacitors and MOSFETs is really weird and I just realized there's actually kind of a header there for a fan and if you've not already seen there's uh, definitely missing PCI fingers but that's alright GT710 is so low bandwidth it doesn't need to take up the full 16x bandwidth but uh, yeah I got, I'm not going to take out the shroud just yet to see the, the GPU die itself but I'm going to plug this into a computer and let GPU Z tell me what this is and I've got already a problem this is the computer I was planning to hopefully install it in a desktop tower Optiplex 710 but unfortunately I didn't know non low profile GT710 exists. It seems like I'm going to be able to just saw this metal piece out and be able to just slot in a card which is really nice okay look so that's okay this can come out oh there's dust this is not a panel well wow, this is actually pretty dusty I forgot how dusty this computer is so yeah I think I'm going to saw this out bye bye Optiplex pristine case you serve me well but it's now time for you to get some operation and I could use pliers but I'm actually going to just use a saw instead I believe it's because the PCI car is rather bent down there you may be able to see this part is pretty bent so I think I'm going to have to knock it out before this car is going to go in maybe a hammer will help so this is what I mean by most janky as GT710 ever it's still having clearance issue and I don't think it's a VGA port okay now it's in do a smoke test see whether look so no sparks yet that's good okay we got a signal now I'm running units in heaven to really verify whether this is properly a GT710 or not because GPUZ reports it as a, as a GT710 but I think the real test is going to see whether the performance match what a GT710 can really do check this out 11 frames per second 954 megahertz 800 megahertz 51 degrees celsius EVI can output sound I did not know this until a few months ago when I had a quadro 600 in this system but yeah DVI can output sound to 100% GPU usage on an NVIDIA G4 GT710 so I'm sitting here wondering when the, it was going to tell me the results and I forgot that I needed to hit the benchmark button so don't forget to hit the benchmark button so shout out to Dark Shadow NVIDIA GT710 benchmark test after 5 year heaven benchmark video because I can verify that my graphics card is well not any more suspicious than it is so I get about the same uh, FPS score it's about the same my maximum frame rate is about the same my minimum frame rate is about double his but I think it's got to do with the fact that he's running a Pentium dual core and I've got an i5 quad core but he seems to be running an older GPU driver but after all this is from like over a year ago the video but we're both running a gigabyte of gigabyte variant and you can see same settings for 1280 by 720 2 times anti-aliasing and window mode basic preset alright 
so that's the end of this GT710 video. It's one of the most suspicious looking ever GT710. And I just realized there's a label there. And yeah, this thing is super dusty as you can see. But this is going to be my new GPU for pass-through. But that's not for today. At least today I've just verified that it's working. Hip hip hooray.